So once that first layer is dry, we'll just be going in with the more saturated versions of the oranges and reds that we used before, just to add a few more details like this. And we're only doing this for the canyons on the right side of the painting. I redefine the river here with a darker green, and then with this watered down purple gray color, we'll be adding in the shadows to the canyons on the left. You don't want to cover the entire top of the canyon, and you'll also want to extend the shadow across the river. And you'll do this for each layer. Make sure the purple that you're using is watered down enough that you can see the details underneath. Then using that same purple gray color, we'll be adding little shadow details to the canyons on the right. Again, try to paint this loosely. We're not going for a perfect photographic look here. We're going for a more impressionistic look. Then you get to peel off the tape, which is your reward for all the hard work that you just put in.